So hi everyone and a very good evening to all of you and welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247 where we are going to discuss some more questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams. All right. So let's begin with the session without any delay and let's talk about the very first question which says Union Cabinet has approved the extension of Atal Innovation Mission till March 2023. Various targets have been set for the extended period. So the question is which of the following targets is incorrect? Which target is incorrect? Hai? All right. So this is guys a very very important question. Definitely you can expect a question in your exam. All right. So let's talk about the news. So the news is this only that the Union Cabinet has approved the extension of Atal Innovation Mission till March 2023. And remember there are various targets which have been set for the extended period. For example. 10,000 Atal Tinkering Labs will be established. One, uh, 101 Atal Incubation Centers will be established. 50 Atal Community Innovation Centers will be established. And finally, 200 startups via the Atal New India Challenges will be supported. So these are some of the targets which have been set for the extended period till March 2023. All right. And for setting up of all these things, 2000 plus crore will be provided to the Niti Ayo. Okay, will crore for amount diya jayega for achieving these targets. Okay. Now talking about Adal Innovation Mission. So remember it was launched. It was set up in the year 2016. It was announced in 2015. 15, but it was set up in the year 2016. All right. Now what is the objective of Adal Innovation Mission? So as the name suggests, it is for promoting the innovation across the country. So to promote a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship in the country, this mission was launched in the year 2016 by the, uh, by the government of India. And of course, it is being implemented by Niti Ayu. All right. Now, what are some of the initiatives of Atal Innovation Mission? Let's talk about them. Number one, we have Atal Incubation Center. So under this uh, initiative, under this mission, uh, Niti Ayu, uh, what Niti Ayu has done is basically it has established various incubation centers at various universities to foster and support the world class innovation across the country. Then we have Atal Community Incu Innovation Center which was launched to promote the benefits of technology led innovation to the underserved and unserved people uh, including tier 2, tier 3 cities, aspirational districts, tribal areas, hard to reach places, hilly places etc etc. All right. Then we have Atal New India Challenges number three. It was launched to create product and service innovations having national socio economic impact. As a product banana, as a service banana, jinka socio economic impact ho national level pe. And under this project, Atal Innovation Mission has established, has set up 24 Atal New India Challenges in partnership with five ministries of the government of India and other departments. All right. Moving ahead. To some more initiative, then we have Arise NIC, Atal New India Challenges. This was launched to promote innovation in a phased manner in the MSME or the startup sector. So this, this basically is the uh, initiative to promote innovation or entrepreneurship in MSME sector. And finally, we have Mentor of Change program of Niti Ayo, which is one of the largest mentorship and management program to provide innovation support to the people across the country. Alright, so these are some of the important initiatives of Atal, of Atal Innovation Mission, which has now been extended till March 2023. So here you have to identify the incorrect statements. So establishing 10,000 Atal in Tinkering Labs, this is absolutely correct. Establishing 101 Atal Incubation Center, this is also correct. And establishing 100 Atal Community Innovation Center, not 150 Atal Community Innovation Centers will be established. Alright, <clears throat> so only one is incorrect. I think there is some uh, error in the option. So let's say, let's make this option as only three because we have to identify the incorrect statement. I'll make the changes in the PDF. Don't worry. Option C is the correct answer. And if you want to have the PDF of this session, guys, you can join the telegram channel. The link for which is provided in the description. So here only three is the correct answer because we have to identify the incorrect uh, statement with respect to the targets. All right. And now let's talk about question number two. With which countries Financial Regulatory Commission Union Cabinet has approved the signing of MOU with SEBI. 
सेबी के साथ एक एम अप्रूव किया गया है एक कंट्री के फाइनेंशियल रेगुलेटरी कमीशन के साथ राइट तो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द नेम ऑफ दैट कंट्री सो दिस कंट्री रिमेंबर इज मंगोलिया सो द यूनियन कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव एम बिटवीन सेबी एंड फाइनेंशियल रेगुलेटरी कमीशन ऑफ मंगोलिया राइट नाउ वाई दिस एम हैज बिन साइंड या वाई दिस एम विल बी साइंड वट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव रिमेंबर दब्जेक्टिव इज इंफॉर्मेशन टू एस्टैब्लिश and information sharing framework between the two organizations so that there will be effective enforcement of the security laws theek hai and it will also help in establishing a technical assistance program between the two organizations sebi and this uh, financial regulatory commission of mongolia all right so mou mein bas aapko yahi karna hota hai you just have to do these things the the organizations between which the mou has been signed and the objective that's it usse zyada detail mein jaane ki zarurat nahi hai so therefore the correct answer will be what mongolia option c mongolia is the correct answer rolan batar is the captain question number 3 which of the following initiatives is being implemented by airport authority of india under which space is being allocated to self help groups at airports for selling or showcasing the self made products of their region this is very very Uh, you know new initiative and very very good initiative of airport authority of india because under this uh, initiative a space is provided to the uh, to the self help groups so that they can sell or showcase their products uh, through that space okay so remember the name of the initiative is apsar which stands for airport as venue for skilled artisans of the region airport as venue for skilled artisan of the region is the uh, full form of apsar and remember it, the nodal ministry is of course ministry of civil aviation because the implementing agency is airport authority of india all right now objective is very clear i believe objective abhi tak clear ho gaya hoga so under this uh, initiative spaces have been allocated to the self help groups so that they can showcase or sell their products of their region okay under this scheme an area of 100 to 200 square feet is provided to the shgs aur jitne bhi airport authority of india dwara operated airport hai waha pe ye space provide kiya jata hai okay and the space is being allotted to the self help groups turn on turn braces for a duration of 15 days which means one shg will get the space for a period of 15 days unko 15 din ke liye space diya jayega and in that 15 days in that period of 15 days they can sell or showcase their products and finally few outlets have already been commissioned at various airports like chennai agartala dehradun kushinagar etc all right so that's it about this initiative and therefore the correct answer will be what option b absurd because that is the initiative which has been launched by the airport authority of india under the ambit of ministry of civil aviation to provide space to the self help groups to showcase or sell their products question number 4 pe aa jao With which of the following ISRO's organizations, UIDAI, uh, Unique Identification Authority of India, has signed an MOU for technical collaboration. Okay, technical collaboration के लिए UIDAI ने ISRO की कौन सी organization के साथ MOU sign किया है? So that's very easy question. Remember, this is uh, National Remote Sensing Center. This is National Remote Sensing Center, which is located in Hyderabad. hyderabad now what type of technical collaboration is this so basically what will happen is that national remote sensing center will develop an app a portal which is known as bhuvan aadhar portal and through this portal all the information regarding the locations of the aadhar centers across india will be provided okay so this center national remote sensing center will develop this app which is named as bhuvan aadhar portal okay and through this portal or app Uh, all the information regarding the locations of aadhar centers will be provided to the citizens and not only this this will also provide a facility to search the relevant aadhar centers by location based on residents requirement and finally ns nrsc will also provide web based portal to collect and store the data pertaining to existing and new enrollment center basically center se related center ki identification se related जो भी डेटा होगा ऑल द डेटा विल बी प्रोवाइडेड थ्रू दिस पोर्टल व्हिच दे आर कॉलिंग एज भुवन आधार पोर्टल एंड इट विल बी डेवलप्ड बाय नेशनल रिमोट सेंसिंग सेंटर ऑल राइट एंड डू रिमेंबर द लोकेशन इट इज लोकेटेड इन हैदराबाद इट इज लोकेटेड इन हैदराबाद सो देयरफॉर द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी व्हाट 
National Remote Sensing Center, Hyderabad. Option B will be the correct answer. And now let's talk about question number five. Which of the following organizations has or have organized the scientific convention on homeopathy, people's choice for wellness? Remember this convention was organized on World Homeopathy Day. It was organized on World Homeopathy Day, which was on 10th of April. And this day is observed uh, to mark the birth anniversary of the founder of homeopathy, uh, who was the great Dr. Samuel Hanuman. Okay. So remember this, this scientific convention was, or, was inaugurated by Union Minister of Ayush, Sarbanan Solowar. And uh, what was the objective of organizing this, uh, this convention? So that is for reviewing the achievements in the field of homeopathy and what should be the future strategies in the same field. And it was organized by three organizations and which works under the Ministry of Ayush. Number one is the Central Council for Research in Homeopathy, National Commission for Homeopathy and National Institute of Homeopathy. So these three organizations jointly organized this scientific convention on homeopathy on World Homeopathy Day. Alright, so therefore the correct answer will be again, yes. So all the three are have jointly organized, which means all one, two and three should be the correct answer option D. And let's talk about the last question for today. Diagnosis related grouping has been launched in pilot mode in five states under Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Aaragya Yojana. Which of the following is not among the five states? Now this is a very new initiative which has been launched as a pilot project under the Pradhan Mantri uh, Ayushman Bharat Jan Aaragya Yojana. So what is the meaning of diagnosis related grouping? Basically, a method hota hai through which uh, the insurance companies, the uh, insurance companies hoti hai, wo kya karti hai? Wo ek group bana deti hai of various diseases. Like for example, cancer related patients ye ho gaye. Aur iske alawa, uh, let's say ki koi aur liver related, agar koi ailment hai, to usse related patients ye hain. Aur heart se related koi aur bimari hai, to usse related patients ye hain. Aur in sabhi ke liye alag alag. In sabhi ke liye alag alag already decide kar diya jata hai ki cancer related payments ko hum is tarikhe se reimbursement denge aur liver related ko heart related ko is tarikhe se denge. Thikai? So basically to ease out the process of reimbursement to the hospital, this method is used by the insurance companies and no need to go into the technicalities of this method. Just remember to ease out the reimbursement process to the hospitals, this method is being used by the insurance companies. All right. And it has been launched as a pilot project under Pradhan Mantri Aishman Bharat Yojana. And these are the five states, Chhattisgarh, Haryana, Kerala, Maharashtra and Meghalaya. These are the five states. So Goa should be the correct answer because that is not uh, the state among those five states where the pilot project ki tarah launch hua hai. So option E is the correct answer. All right. And that's it for the session today, guys. I hope all the questions are clear. <clears throat> if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next session on Wednesday. Goodbye, take care and God bless.